This is the video review for Transformers Energon Leader Class Megatron. This figure is giant. Giant and heavy. Even on the uh, towel, he rolls really well. And on a non-carpet-like surface, he rolls supremely well. You push him and he will fly. And this jet mode, I really like it. It looks like a Klingon bird of prey on steroids, especially with these giant ass turbines here. And just in general, this is a, a super, super nice design. I even like the tank on the top because it, um, it fills in a kind of blank looking area. And it's not really part for me because it's a uh, drone. So for it to not be there, for you to lose it, doesn't ruin the figure, just makes it look a little bit more bland up there. And this is the actual tank itself. It looks like a Megatron's Armada appearance, and in fact, I think it is his Armada form, although I'm not quite sure how it all works. I've never seen the show, nor do I care to. In robot mode, this will form his gun and a sword, although the uh, sword bit's missing here. I'll show that later. As far as gimmicks go for the um, jet mode, you can pull on his wings here, and they splay open like that. Kind of like an X-Wing fighter. And these can tilt, and this has a missile that can shoot. It's more of a whoosh whoosh toy than a oh my god has a thousand gimmicks toy. And what's interesting about this guy is he actually has a ton of guns. He's very well armed. He has one, two, three, four, and then five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. Twenty-one guns. This guy is supremely armed in jet mode. Now, to transform him is pretty simple. Take off the tank, collapse the wings, fold up the landing gear, pop the wings off of the engines, rotate this all the way around. For the engines, push the landing gear forward. I'll pop out the feet and turn this back nozzle part of the engine into a kneecap. Then pull the feet all the way down like that. Now this guy's getting really big. Take the nose, fold it onto his back, take his shoulders, split them, and then his head drops down. And that's Megatron in robot mode. You'll notice he actually looks quite a bit like Galvatron. And in fact, there is a repaint of this guy that looks exactly like Galvatron as far as the colors. Now, while this robot mode looks great, and I love the jet mode, and the transformation is really neat, really inventive, simple, but effective, and I like it, I wouldn't really call this a great toy, it's just okay. And the reason why is because the robot mode is pretty lacking. <coughs> the reason why is because he has all this crap on his back, making him very top and back heavy. Although you can mitigate a little bit by folding the wings forward. That does get in the way of his articulation, his limited articulation. He doesn't have the articulation to really make up for that. His arms can go forward at the shoulder, out at the shoulder, about 89 degrees at the elbow, and his um, forearm can rotate. His head can turn left and right, and his legs, and these are really more of the problem with this figure because the legs are where I need to support this figure, and they're just not good enough. They go forward, back, out, 
and a very stiff knee joint. And he has no feet posably whatsoever. They are spring loaded. And not to stay closed like on some of the Vringe of the Fallen figures, but to stay out. His legs, the ratchets are, he does not have enough gradation in the ratchet. And his legs just can't get into many places that will support his weight. His top and back weight. Now as far as the tank goes, this will become Megatron's fusion cannon. The way you do it is there are two panels on the bottom that come out and those will clip onto his forearm. But the problem is that, if you'll notice, he's now t tilting to the left. And that's because it is so heavy that he can't deal with it. He just, it just pulls him to the side and it's pretty horrible, really. Now, the other gimmick for the um, tank is actually worse for his articulation because what you do is you take the uh, tank and if you will look back here there's a little clear thing and there's a little notch here you push the tank into that hole and then you press this button and then the sword comes out of the uh, nose area kind of like a uh, scabbard and this is what it looks like and I'm not really feeling the uh, clear sword either. I wish they had used this pretty green here used for the wings and for the guns. And this sword attachment for the uh, tank really, really limits the figure even more because it limits what you can do with the wings, which makes it more back heavy. You have this um, cannon that gets in the way. Then you have these treads, which are normally down here, that get in the way. So he can't even bend his arm out more than this. And it just sucks. I hate the tank in robot mode. I usually just leave it off and just have his little drone. So, while this figure has a lot going for it, I don't really recommend it. It just doesn't do enough for what it should. I mean, it's a great display piece, but that's it. You won't really get any play out of it beyond whoosh whoosh in the jet mode. And that's all. Thanks for watching.